I read an interesting article about the gift of feeling seen. Our therapist friend, Dr. Jonathan Carroll, is back with a discussion about the value of feeling seen or being seen. Good morning, Jonathan. Good morning, Angie. Uh, maybe we should explain what we're talking about here. What, what are we talking about when we say we feel seen? To feel seen means experiencing uh, recognition and understanding and validation from other people, particularly in the context of how we think and how we feel what we've experienced and at the core who we are. When someone feels seen, they believe that people that they interact with genuinely acknowledge and understand who they are, what they're going through, what they value. And it's a fundamental part of, of uh, emotional well-being and interpersonal relationships. So if we're the person who is trying to uh, be present with people to really see what are some of the techniques or things we can learn to to do this better to accomplish this in our relationships yeah well you said it uh, being present is the first step you know when you spend time with someone be fully present in the moment put away the distractions focus on the person you're with it sends a, a powerful message about the fact that you value who they are and being with them of course that comes with things like active listening which means paying full attention, putting away phones and other devices, maintaining contact, being genuinely interested in what they're saying. It means showing empathy. It means asking open-ended questions rather than yes or no questions. This is important, of course, if you have teenagers around you. Um, try not to interrupt. Watch and, and be aware of your own nonverbal communications. Pay attention to your own body language and your nonverbal cues. Uh, show appreciation. Be vulnerable with that person. Practice being patient be inclusive and of course maintain boundaries well i guess on the opposite side of that uh spectrum would be making people feel invisible which it seems to be a real issue for all of us so you know how do we know we are making someone feel invisible I think this is where empathy comes into play because we all know what that feels like and and uh, unless you're dealing or, or working or being in relationship with someone who has uh, a pretty profound maybe personality disorder or mental illness typically i think we all know when we have felt uh, not seen or overlooked uh, we don't feel like we've been recognized we feel misunderstood we feel invalidated we don't feel accepted we feel of course rejected we don't feel like we're making connections we're not getting the affirmation we need we feel disrespected and so i think because we know what that feels like of course do unto others uh, we want to make sure that we are not doing those things to others and so it's important i think to to use your words again to be present to really pay attention Attention, to be involved, get involved, stay involved, stay engaged, and do what it takes to be in, in, in positive, loving, and uh, virtuous relationship with others. Jonathan, as always, thank you very much for your wisdom. Thank you. And we'll be back with more Local Lifestyles right after this. Stay with us.